Hey guys, I have been well lit. I have these, um, in the past I've used this little lamp here. So you got these at the Dollar Tree. Uh, and I've had one before, and then I used another lamp over here. It was a different kind though. And I was recently at the Dollar Tree this past weekend, and I picked up another one of that same kind of lamp I just showed you. So now that, that shade is diffusing the light. I don't have all the shadows, that sort of thing. So how about that? I'm uh, getting into the uh, a little bit more professional of an environment here. All right, um, I'm going to continue on. I already had a sucky brush experience yesterday with a synthetic, and let's do it again. Um, this is another synthetic. The previous one I tried, and I say sucky, I don't really mean that. Um, oh yeah, that was the uh, U brush with the silk smoke knot from AP Shave Co. I discovered that I did like that handle a good bit, that U-brush handle, very, got a thin waist, but a, a fat butt, and that fatness really helped to, to be something easy to hold. Uh, and so I really liked, I discovered I do like the U-brush, and so I can look at maybe some of the, uh, maybe they have a badger knot, or just order the handle and put my own knot in there. That might be pretty cool too. Uh, and so that was a silk smoke knot though, and I didn't really like that much. It, just didn't differ very much at all from all the other synthetics except for the mother load that's a different fiber you can tell it's much more a fine fiber and its backbone is greatly reduced but plasson cashmere uh, timber wolf um, there's another one in, in there as well um, uh, that i'm forgetting um, but uh now the, the boss is thicker, got more backbone. I think the tuxedo generally has a little bit more backbone. But I'm starting to think that the, uh, the, the Plasson and the, um, and the Silk Smoke and the Timberwolf and the Cashmere, all those, I, it just it seems like they're the same bristle. They have crazy soft tips, but that doesn't matter if it still kind of shoves your skin around with that, with that backbone. At least, at least the way I use and want to enjoy a brush. And that's, of course, very subjective. Now, this one is one that's raved about a lot. I think I'm going to like this little handle, at least in terms of ergonomics. It's going to get my fingers messy, and it's kind of small. But I, I think I'm going to like the handle. And But this is the two-bed knot, 2-B-E-D. I think it stands for two-band um, and then extra density, maybe. And, and so I think they named it that because they just, it looks like a two band. See how it gets light here toward the base of the knot? And that's kind of what two bands do. But it's a synthetic and, and of course the tips feel luxuriously soft. But let's give it a chance and we'll see if somehow it differs from my feel of it right now. I don't think it will, but we're going to give it a good chance. It's, it's been recommended in, in a lot of posts out there. I've seen it. And I, I saw this one on the used market for cheap. Said, hey, let's try it out. The other stuff I'm gonna use is a soap base from Long Rifle. And leather stocking is the scent. And I know that the Long Rifle soap base is a good one. It performs well for me. And this scent, I love it when they put a little write up cedar wood, lavender, and citrus. It's pretty firm, and it took some carving to to get the soap out. I had to use a different, I was at the Dollar Tree, like I said recently, and I bought one of their little measuring spoons, and it's kind of lame for scooping out firm soap because of this thick border. My metal one that I've shown you so many times just carves right through any soap because it's so thin. It's like a knife through butter kind of thing. Uh, but this one's thicker, and so I had to scrape and then push the little soap down into the spoon. Now, I know I'm going to like the soap base, or at least I'm highly confident. Probably not going to like the brush today. And so I decided to pick a razor that I'm really fond of. This is the President, a vintage Gillette. And it looks very similar to the Aristocrat. It does shave similarly to the American Aristocrat. Yes, you can tell the difference because this is not gold. The, also, there's knurling, this little band right here, there is knurling on the ridges, 
with the aristocrat, there's, there are these ridges here, but they're not knurled. And that's an easy way to tell a president, which is quite rare, from the aristocrat, which is pretty common. I believe this shaves, to me, it seems to shave a little nicer, a little smoother than the aristocrat. Some people say they can't tell the difference, so that would be up to uh, the individual shaver. So I caught up on the dots here. I synchronized it with what I had in my computer. So we're looking at three, uh, 443 is the current count that's on the Nasset blade. So this is 444, a pretty interesting number. And this is the Nasset. President, wonderful little razor. If I had to use it for the rest of my life, I don't think I'd have a problem with it. I just took a shower, and so I don't have any facial oils really to get in the way of anything. The uh, from the soap uh, from the soap tub, we're, we're dealing with a very light scent, so hopefully it'll open up. But it also could be a little bit on the old side. I don't know. So leather stocking, cedar wood. Lavender and citrus. Those are kind of some classic soap scent notes. So I'm sure it's going to be enjoyable. I could probably do a green screen uh, <laughs> and have my shirt uh, fade away into the background, right? And I'll just be a floating head doing shaving. Um, I decided to switch away from my other bowls and use this guy because it's such a small handle. Uh, I'm, my fingers are just going to be all up in this lather. And this bowl, with its more open and curved away edges here, is probably going to be a little nicer to use. And so let's give that a shot. I have glued, I did etch the bottom of the bowl, the melamine bowl here, before I glued these, also from the Dollar Tree, glass beads. I like that better than the quarters that you see some guys do. And they also have this great function of keeping the brush from sliding down into the bowl, into the lather. I like that a lot, maybe even more than the agitation that they offer. Now this is a synthetic, and so I don't need to have pre-soaked it prior to the shave. And I am gonna take the little bit more than a quarter teaspoon here and push it into the bottom of the bowl. If you're scooping a soap that hasn't been used in a while, you may want to try to scoop in one area kind of deep instead of kind of spreading it over the whole area because then you're likely, at least in theory, in my own brain, to dive deep to where the scent is still locked into the soap. If you're always only scraping the top part and then you let it sit for three months, then you're always getting the weakest scented soap. Unless, of course, you want a mild experience. Um, then you may want to try diving down instead of going shallow. All right, so I press that into, uh, you don't have to be super thin, but notice that since this is a firm soap, I wanted to make sure it didn't have any uh, puffy edges that would cause it to break loose and then just kind of hang around in the bowl instead of get mixed in. All right, face is wet. I'm gonna shake most of the water out of the brush and then we'll go at it here. Now I'm sure like many of the synthetics, this is going to be a good experience when doing circular motions on my face. You know, those tips are undeniably luxuriously soft. Wow, I match my bowl to my shirt to my wall. How about that? We are just a gray, dismal thing today. Uh, and so I'm certain that with the brush experience, the circular motions on my face, the, the painting strokes in general are going to be very nice. It's just when I reverse direction, kind of expecting the same thing that the other, so, uh, the other synthetics brushes give me. But now at least I'll have first-hand knowledge. There are a few others like me who think that these synthetics, this type of synthetic, does offer too much springiness, too much backbone. There are some people who like the kind of more 
more plush backbone experience. But a lot of guys out there like the synthetics. They do have benefits. I've got my 40 milliliters of water in my jigger here. Some of the benefits of the synthetics are easy travel because they don't take as long to dry as the animal hair brushes because they don't absorb the water into the brush fibers, of course. Yeah, yeah, the citrus and the cedar wood are going really well together and the lavender kind of grounds it in an earthy way. This is a really nice mix. This, uh, these three pieces together make something really nice. Their barrister and man did one, uh, lime, lavender, and cedar wood, I believe, is uh, from a few different base, a few bases ago. Maybe the glissant base. I think it was lime, lavender, cedar wood, and and so actually that's pretty much exactly the uh, the scent notes here. some of this excess on my face instead of wasting it. Keep putting water on the on everything and it's coming together. The lather looks very nice. We've got about 19 milliliters added so that's quite a bit and so I'm going to make sure I combine this well before I add any more. kind of wish this bowl went out just a little bit more. I do often get lavender coming right up to the edge and if it was, if it kept extending outward, you know, at, at the same angle that it is, then uh, maybe just a three quarters of an inch, then I would have just an extra margin. quiet bowl because it's not hollow like my 3D printed bowl. There we go. That looks pretty good. That doesn't look too wet. Like we've got a nice mixture here. I believe I can see that we have, you know, picked up all the soap from the walls of the bowl. Nice. All right. Now it is. Look at all those ridges, those firm ridges. Look at that. It's that peak there is sticking out horizontally and it's holding itself up. There are definitely some bases where I would take that further with water. Um, not sure about this particular base. I'm gonna take some of this excess. Yeah, this does actually kind of feel a little bit like concentrate. So you know what I'm gonna do? I am gonna keep adding just a little bit more water. may need to add more during the shave, but I think we'll go with this. 21 milliliters maybe, that's what I've got in it. Let's see what this two bed knot offers my face. Pretty good. It's got a nice splay. I, I, it's definitely not too firm in terms of that, in terms of that splay. all that excess that kind of made a mess of because of the little short handle got it on my finger yeah and I can feel the slickness here 
very nice little rinse now. Now one gripe of course that some people have about the long stocking of uh, the long rifle soaps, you almost have to scoop. It's a tall, narrow container. Declaration grooming, for instance, it's much easier to load your brush in this type of container. Of course, if you have a small, stiff brush, this is not going to have a problem. But if you've got very much flex in your brush at all, then you're going to be moving it around and the tips of your brush are going to stay in the middle and just dig a hole through the middle of it. And so you're probably better off to scoop. Not the end of the world, but uh, just, a, just a note there. Uh, or if you do like Mr. Michael Friedberg and some other folks, if they know uh, their practice is to use a soap for a certain length of time uh, for several shaves in a row. So they could get out a, a loading bowl. The Captain's Choice with those ridges is a nice loading bowl. And they could press um, a tea, uh, you know, three, four, or five teaspoons of product into the bottom of that bowl, and that would last them for a few days. Of course, that would be easy to load from. But it is neat, it's different, kind of, uh, it might fit somebody's travel pack, you know, uh, because of the shape of the container. Um, so, you know, it's neat. I like the style of their uh, labels and, and kind of the motif they've gone with. All right, here we go with a two bed knot with a nice looking lather. Oh man, that is very soft. And uh, wow, those tips. I mean, okay. This knot does seem to be even softer than some of the other synthetics. Um, I think I do need to add some more water. Yeah, of course it could seem softer because the lather is drier than I like. I'm going to rake off some of the extra concentrate into the bowl there. And then I'm going to... Add a little bit of water. I was watching my friend uh, HD Shaves, his last couple of shaves in August. You know, he participated in the austere August challenge as well. He didn't do the uh, Midnight Stag challenge. He did... Uh, uh, gem, uh, using a micromatic gem, micromatic open comb razor the whole month. And then he used a, uh, there was a challenge to use a maggard soap for the whole month. Okay, guys, this is, this is different. My little theory about all the knots being the same, this one is different. I, I do feel, see, it is still shoving me around a little bit. You know, um, when it comes time to reverse direction, like yesterday, um, the, the silk smoke knot, you could actually hear it kind of flop. Now, and so I'm definitely going to give this another try. I want to use a, a thinner lather. This one is, is still kind of on the thick side. That could be making all the difference, or it, uh, it could be just a, a finer quality grade of hair. And of course, that is what I would prefer. HD Shaves has been doing the head tilt thing as he's uh, kind of whenever he face lathers and has a, a brush full of water that he's trying to work into uh, his face and into the soap to make his lather. He's, he's a few times done the head tilt method that I usually do. So if you, I brought him up because um, if you do like or are curious about the gem razors, Micromatic Open Comb, he, he used one for the whole month, and he is a good resource on those single edges. He's done a, had a lot of experience with the gem single edge razors. See, that still could use some more water, and that's why this is a good soap base, uh, because I've got tons of product here, um, a little bit more than a quarter teaspoon, and I've got all the lather I need, you know, maybe three times as much lather that, as I need. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start dipping in the, 
in the basin here and adding water to my face. I am starting, I am feeling the, you know, the tips when I reverse direction, but it's not too bad. It's not as bad as the silk smoke, not as bad as the Plasson, um, at least for now. We're going to give it more uses. I do like the mother load knot. It's a synthetic that's even kinder than this one. Uh, I'm going to dip for some more water there. Well, I was predicting how I would feel about this knot but I was still maintaining an open mind. I was gonna give it a fair shake, but it looks like, uh, looks like I was wrong. This is uh, kinder. Uh, it doesn't push my face around quite so much. Uh, and the point here is that when I go to switch directions, there's enough if there's enough slickness in the lather and there's a, enough weakness in the bristle, it kind of bends and moves out of the way instead of shoving my skin. And that's what, that's what I want to happen. I'll give it some more, some more uses. Different uh, soap bases, you know, and, and see. All right, President El Presidente with the Nasset blade. Uh, I think just one day of growth is what we're looking at right now. Feels kind of a little tuggy. It doesn't feel super smooth. But it is a, the 444th shave. But there are other razors that are nicer with this blade at this point in its life. But with a normal use blade of, you know, under 30 uses, I really enjoy this razor swish bowl down there and then if you want to touch up with the goatee lather so the concentration here is pretty high this is not the usual elasticity that you see from me I ideally I would keep adding water to this but I'm, I'm on my third pass here the scent strength should be at its best because I've got more soap in here that I would normally have now that it's wet the lime scent is coming out I didn't get that when I was smelling the dry tub it's enjoyable I like the scent in general the lime has stepped forward to the front The lavender is there, but it's small. And the cedar has, has backed away. Um, the lavender is probably the last guy in line to, to smell with the, the lime being first or the citrus being first. And then the, uh, the cedar wood still kind of in the background uh, pretty far. And then the lavender even behind that. I, I do like it. I do. It's a well-designed scent. I think would appeal to a good many people. Now, if I have a, a light touch, see, now I'm starting to push my skin around. It's not enjoyable. This is the same experience I have with the other synthetics. And so, and actually it's, I'm, I'm prickling. It's, it's almost got a prickle nature to it because of that firm backbone. And so I'm, my workaround for that is what I've been doing the whole shave is pressing it in and kind of working fast to, to kind of manhandle the bristles. Um, and then it's a little friendlier. So in a sense, my, my initial assessment is, is still correct. It's, it's not too different from the others. I think the, uh, like I'd kind of mentioned before, the, the thickness of the lather was masking the effect before. But I, it's probably, I, I think I could understand how that might be a, a different hair uh, fiber, a different 
synthetic fiber than the others and so my my wondering my hey guys I had some technical difficulties with my phone there uh, and I had to clear up some space things like that now sometimes happy little things come as a result of technical issues and here I am after several minutes and I'm, I'm feeling a dryness here on my face and that is something that's telling me that the lather was just needed some more water it's too dry so are you curious as to uh, your lathers are they too dry then maybe you could stop in the middle of your shave and go do something play on the computer for 15 minutes uh, maybe take part of it off your face something like that um, maybe all of it off your face and see do you start to feel some dryness and itchiness and slight irritation happening because of that dryness. If so, you may want to try adding some water to your lather. I just added water to what you just saw on my face and it livened it up. It woke it up. It's exactly what it needed. I don't even need to re-lather because that, that slickness is just kind of thick on my face here. That's much better experience right there than what I've been shaving with this whole shave. So it's a great soap. Um, it's uh, today we're having lather grievances because why? Because it's a bad soap. Nope. I ran that lather a little bit too thick. Should have added more water. All right. Got my face really wet. We'll just paint on kind of the last, the last pass here. Scent strength while I'm working it in my in my area here with the brush is is decent. You know, four out of ten. It's uh, eight. You're able to enjoy the scent, that sort of thing. It's not too light. Nice comfort now and much better glide by leaving that excess excessive amount of water on on my face. Enjoying the fact that my goatee is kind of dripping because that's helping me keep my face a little nicer hydrated here. Normally it's a little irritating. Now right here, the hair growth on the corner of my jaw here turns this way. And most of the time I shave this direction because it's so comfortable. It's kind of awkward to, to switch. And I guess this stroke right here is probably the best way to do that area. Instead of trying to do a full against the grain right there, which that's not a soft area of my skin, and, and so I could do an against the grain area that uh, stroke right there if I wanted, um, but I don't need to. Very good. I'm going to wet. Oh, no. You know what? Why don't we just get some lather here, and we'll do that against the grain work right there. This is kind of a mid-range razor, not super smooth, even with a, you know, a nice blade, even with a youngish blade, but it's handling this against the grain effort right here pretty nicely, pretty comfy, so very good. Yeah, oh yeah, oh that feels good, that's a, a medium aggression here translated into a, a little closer shave than some of my more mild razors I've used lately. The lavender in this soap scent never took the front of the stage. In the beginning, the cedar wood was a little bit in the front. It did fade as the, as the citrus stepped farther forward, uh, as it got wet and became a nice lather. The lavender was just a nice element that provided some earthiness and some kind of continuity and softened up those notes. 
of the other ingredients. And, um, uh, and so something that goes really well with the, the woody and the lavender uh, and the citrus actually, because see these, the notes here, these base notes that it, that's in Manama Stones um, uh, work really well with the citrus as a top note. And it, 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 it's almost like it takes the cedar wood that was in the soap and takes it further. It further develops it as a woody scent and then it, it brings in some, some of those other notes to, um, yeah, oh, that's a good one. That is a good scent right there. Like the agar, which is oud um, from Sterling, this, I think this stone's balm is, is one that for people like me, and this thing could really work for so many as, a, as kind of a finisher for so many scents out there. Very nice. Flexible, uh, adaptable, um, very nice. All right, well, <laughs> I've got tons of lather. I maybe needed an eighth of a teaspoon of soap, I think, to get the job done because we, and this is concentrate. This is not as wet as I like it. It's, we've got just a, a ton of it here. And to see, look how elastic it is. And it's still too concentrated. I really like this soap base because I can take it to the, such a great elastic point and it's still creamy and, and high performing. I just didn't quite take it far enough in this particular shave. Oh yeah, the stones is working great. Whew, nice. Okay, the two bed brush knot uh, from AP Shave Co. did do better than I thought it would. It does seem to be a little bit of a nuance different from some of those other ones that I'd mentioned. Uh, oh, Sinbad was the one I was trying to remember. Uh, Cashmere, Sinbad, Plasson, Timberwolf. All those just seem so close to me, to being uh, the same fiber, just in different colors. Um, and maybe they're, maybe they're not. Uh, I, I think they're close enough to basically be the same for a person like me who doesn't enjoy that much backbone. They're all too much backbone, too springy. Uh, this guy, and he's not even lofted super high either. Let me rinse him out. See, so this guy's not really lofted very high. He's dry now. I gave him a towel drying. Um, oh, we have a fiber there. No worries. It probably just didn't make it down into the glue bump. No big deal. So that could be, uh, could be a nicer knot for me if maybe it was lofted a little higher. I definitely enjoyed the comfort of this handle. That curve is in a wonderful place for my particular fingers. I wish it was just a little longer of a handle so uh, I didn't get quite as messy. So, uh, so there we go. And again, when I was starting to get the lather a little bit more dialed in to, to as wet as I like it, I did find it acting like the other synthetics that I don't like. If I was kind of light on the face, had the tips, you know, massaging my face, that quarter, I was feeling that shoving motion when I when I put forth a lot of effort and uh, and kept it scrunched up against my face then the the bristles would more easily move out of the way and I had a, a kinder experience on my on my face all right um, but it's an inexpensive knot synthetics are often nice for beginners because they uh, they pull up soap from the uh, from the pucks uh, pretty efficiently they uh, they don't eat lather like some of the natural brushes do um, now, I don't have a problem with the natural brushes. I, I enjoy them and I think they're easy to learn how to use. Uh, but some people do have problems with them. Um, uh, and so I, I think nothing's changed in terms of synthetics. I think they're good for beginners sometimes. Um, if, I, if I had to start out, I probably, I'm glad I started out natural. I started out with a, a, a badger and then a, for a while and then a boar. I think a boar, in a way a boar is a nice way to start out because Sure, you have that hump of using it and being so frustrated in the first few weeks that it's you just have to keep going back to the soap. But as long as you know that, then you can just endure that. And then, bam, you've got this neat little brush that didn't cost very much at all. And, and you've, got, you've got this nice splay and, and you know what can happen with the maturity of a brush. You can, you can feel those tips split. So it's, it's cheap 
and, and a nice quality feel to it. And then if you want, if you want to move to synthetics at that point or badgers, then, then great. Now you know how boars feel. Uh, synthetics sometimes might spoil a person because of their artificially uh, thin tips. Uh, and so that's why I think maybe a boar or a badger might be a nice starting point uh, because you, uh, I think it's easier to identify and, and enjoy the, the attributes of those animal brushes before you get that synthetic feel. Um, but a lot of people start out with synthetics uh, and for good reason. It's, it's just reliable and it's effective and they're inexpensive too. So I do also recommend them uh, to people just because I try to be as objective as possible and that they're a high recommended item. And so I do that myself too. Uh, the, little, the little glass beads came out. I was using dollar store adhesive, um, but I guess it just wasn't waterproof. And uh, yep, I'll, it didn't take very much to pull the other one out. So I will uh, try silicone next. I'll have to try to get this residue out and, uh, and we'll try uh, silicone, which should be a lot better than this. This may have been contact cement or some other type of general purpose adhesive available at the Dollar Tree. I was experimenting with a full Dollar Tree type of setup here. It did last for several shaves. It didn't ditch the first shave. It took a few to, to, before it gave up the ghost. Well, the president did well. A little tuggy on that first pass, but no big deal. And the Nasset is good. I like to put a little towel in my uh, twist to open razors just to kind of get that, clean that area out. All right, folks, there we go. Uh, nice shave. I've got a, a showered earlier today and didn't bother combing my hair afterwards, so I've got crazy hair. Um, there we go. Wow, the long rifle soap base continues to be a soap base I can really get behind. Um, very nice. And this may be, I think I've got Hunting Lodge as the other scent. So this, I actually may like this more than the Hunting Lodge. Uh, and this is an interesting contrast to the Author's Ridge I used yesterday, which it was, it was another cedar note. Very focused on cedar was Author's Ridge. It didn't really seem to be too nuanced to me. Um, and this is a, to me, a nicer cedar because it's got that cedar and it's grounded in the, the lavender with the, uh, with the citrus kind of coming in and going out in various points during the shave, adding interest. I could easily see using this soap for a nice long time and enjoying it more than that uh, Talbot Author's Ridge, for instance. A very cedar focused is that one me. Excellent. And the stones was a good base. Uh, comfort now with, with all that water I was adding afterwards, I, I got rid of that dry feeling in my face. Very nice. Got back to the, the lather, just needed the water. Got back to a nice uh, kind of feeling in my face that I was used to with the well hydrated lather at the end there. Excellent. Hope there's something in here. Uh, to help you guys out. I know that the video kind of cut in and out. I believe in general, I caught it and was able to uh, make you not miss a lot of info, but, it's, but hopefully it, it worked out that way. Take care now. This is Sugar Daddy Shaves. Uh, wish you the best. Um, keep yourself safe. Please get vaccinated.